Good morning. I'm the inauguration of SCM New Technology Center at Rimini Headquarter. How do you feel? I feel so good. I feel uh, very good because uh, all around me there are so many people, uh, customers, uh, distributors, agents, uh, also our ecosystem suppliers. So I'm so excited to show and to share with them what are we able today for the next future in terms of technology, digitalization and automation. So very good. So how it will help the customer with the new technology center? Um, customers uh, will leave a completely different experience in the technology center. Um, it's not a way of showing technologies. It's not a way of showing how technologies can be integrated with automation. But it's a way of sharing a new philosophy to our customers. How technology, digitalization, automation can stay all together to make the life of our customer easier. Especially if you come in our technology center, you go in a control room system, and you see over there all the machine connected, where the machine are giving signals to us, and proactively we can be in contact with our customers to share information and to prevent some blockage. I think is just fantastic and can be really appreciated from our customers. On the other side, we have all the software experience with Maestro Lab and other software that can um, uh, really share with our customer from the idea to the execution how they can do that. Mr. Luigi, can I ask you the latest trend in the industry? The latest trend, the latest trend, uh, let's start from um, uh, 2022. 2022 was um, um, a quite difficult year. We know how was difficult in terms of uh, price pressure, uh, how was difficult in terms of supplier shortages and uh, many things. But I can say that despite that, we were really able to make a double digit growth. The group, the SCN group, achieved a turnover of 850 million euro, and this was a good growth. What is happening in 2023? Of course, order income are not so uh, good as the year before, or of course, like in 2021 and 2022. So, order intake has a bit uh, slowing down. Uh, the full system is uh, cooling down. Um, on the other side, uh, we are, uh, in terms of turnover, we still are uh, doing a turnover with double digit growth for, for our backlog. But let me say something. It's, uh, it's uh, precisely in this moment, like 2023, where orders can slow down that companies need to invest. Needs to invest in technology, needs to invest in customer proximity, in service, and it's the right moment where you can work on giving more opportunity to our customers. Let me just add one thing, that, that Mr. because I saw I have so many things, uh, five big pillars where we are investing. Of course, efficiency of our production plan and spaces. Just to share with you some information. Just in this area, that you can see the area of uh, the headquarter, we invested in 11,000 square meters. But overall, overall, that means also in Vigo Zone, Cheraski, Finishing, Elmar, Monza, uh, Tiene, or also Rautec, Sinalunga, including uh, uh, CMS, Zonio, we have invested in more than 20,000 square meters. So, big investment. Second, I, I told you before about technology and investment in R&D. Still, we keep investing 7% of our turnover in R&D. This is not by chance. It's a precise plan or what we are going to achieve in the next future of new technology. Of course, third point is about proximity. Proximity means a new subsidiary. We just announced a, uh, the opening of the new subsidiary in Vienna, that is going to be in January. Then we are
are going to invest in a new subsidiary in Slovenia, in Ljubljana, so we are still keeping investing uh, in proximity. Of course, the other point is customer service. I told you about the control room and uh, of course people. Skilled and trained people to support the growth and to support our customer in 